it's hard to visualize that pants on women is an abomination. He said, I'm gonna kill you for it. I don't care how, if you think it's small. I don't care if you think it's insignificant. I don't care what you think. I'm saying I'm gonna be mad and I'm gonna kill you for it. Everything that we do, everybody trying to copy, right? Right. We sang the best. You probably grew up in the in the, uh, the church, right? Let you hold the tune. We cook the best, right? Yeah. God says we are the what? Ye are the light of the world. So if we are the light of the world, we should be the example to all of our peoples on what we should and should not do, right? right. God says that His laws is forever. He's only giving it to us. That's why when we uh, broke his laws, he said, I'm a good dad. I'm going to punish you. I'm going to punish you with slavery. I'm going to put these, uh, this uh, punishment on your behind until you acknowledge me. Give me that in Hosea. Because we learned this in, we learned this in history. We learn this by going to, you know, going to school. And we always see that and say, why would we be in this type of slavery? Why would this happen to us and nobody else? Right. Let me show you why this happened to us and nobody else. Watch this, mama. What's your name, mama? My name is Maggie. Maggie. All right, I'm Tobias. Watch this, uh, Miss Maggie. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Uh -huh. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. So God says he's going to go back to the heavens until our people acknowledge what we've done. Because we make excuses for, us, yeah. excuses for what we do. But God says, I don't want no excuses. I want you to know and acknowledge what you have done. Read. And seek my face. And what? And seek my face. How do you seek the face of God? Do you know? I my friend. My friend, okay. What else? Give me that. The book of Isaiah. We gonna show, the, God is going to show you. Because we might have a... A way in our mind or how we can seek God. We say, well, I just pray to God. I'll just do this. I'll just do that. God says, no, I want you to seek me like you're free. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So God says to seek my face. Yes, you got to pray. But he said, seek ye out of my book and read. Because that's how the only way you're going to know how you can acknowledge your offense. Right. right. The right. only way to acknowledge your offense say, man, I didn't know God say I can't eat. Uh, I, I didn't know that God said I couldn't eat uh, pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, uh, chitlins, and all that. I didn't know he said that, right? But God says, seek me out of the book of the Lord and read. Right? But you read. Look at Romans chapter 7 and verse 7. What shall we say then? Is the law sin? God forbid. So God says, seek ye out of the book of the Hey, how you doing, sister? We going over how we are the light of the world. We are the greatest people that God ever created, and He's given us laws, statutes, and commandments, and He's disciplined us for breaking it. God says in Hosea, say He's going to go back to His place until we acknowledge our offense. But what is our offense? We don't know. Right. We go around and say, well, God knows my heart. Samantha, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. We go around saying, God know my heart. Well, God says our heart is desperately wicked. Right. And we've been doing so much evil for so long. Go back to hold that. Go back to Hosea. Read this. Read it. The book of Hosea, chapter 5 and verse 15. Uh -huh. I will go and return to my place. So they acknowledge their offense and seek my faith. And when God went back to his place, right? We'll read over that and say, well, what, what, what does that mean when God went back to He went back, he took his hand off, what happened? Slavery. Right. Slave, uh, 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 awesome slave blocks. Yokes of iron on our necks and cages on our heads. This so if we tried to run away, the bushes was uh, uh, catch us and snatch us by the neck and we'll get hung up on bushes and then the dogs find us and bite us and then they bring us back and put us in the hot box. Bring it out. They bring us back and whoop our backs until Jeez, blood and bones and guts come out. Bring it out. That is God going back to his place. 
That's God says, I love you so much, I wanted to punish you. Because the only way the black person understands is when we get jacked up. Right. right. Only time we pray to God is when something is going on right in God. Right. When we uh when we up, as they call it, when the bag is in the house. We ain't playing the God for nothing. Right. We right. going to the clubs. We going, we going to uh, live it up. Turn up season. God, this turn up season. Get lit. God says, I know how to get to my people. I know what I'm going to do to really get to the minds of our people, right? You probably seen some of uh, my You were born uh, a little while ago. No, I was born the other night. The other night. All right. No, and the is what I'm Okay. In the forties, okay. My grandma, my grandma was born in the thirties, so she's a little bit older than you. And she's told me about some things that she was raised up in. My mom did the same thing. Segregation, she was raised up in it. Uh, KKK, she was raised up. Uh, uh, she was raised. My granddad was raised from Madison, Florida, almost up there by George. Right? He saw a lot of this stuff. But, but, but God says this. Read that again. I will go and return to my place. Uh huh. So they acknowledge their offense. We have to acknowledge our offense. We have to watch this and seek my face. And seek God's face by reading, studying, uh, keeping His commandments, going to Him for all things. Not to the other nations, not to our brothers and sisters. No, God says, I give you everything that you want and everything that you need in my law. Read. In their affliction, in your affliction, this child support, uh, uh, wit, uh, homelessness, all that stuff, all the evil things that we Gang violence, all the evil things that we see in society, God says they're going to acknowledge their offense by these things. Read. In their affliction, in your affliction, they will seek me early. God says, I know the only time they'll seek me is when I put my foot to butt. My, I, I want to say some other things, but I got to be respectful. You already know. God says, when I put my foot to their butt, that's when they're going to acknowledge their offense. We have to understand what our offense is. First Kings 8. Right? Once we know how it fits, God, well, let me ask you this. You got grandchildren, right? No, I got great, 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 great grandchildren. Yeah. You got a bunch of greats, right? Let me ask you this. You dress modestly. Do you teach your granddaughters and grandkids and your children, your daughters, to dress modestly? Or do they wear kind of whatever they want? No, they can't do that in my house. Okay, but do they have you ever taught them? That listen, uh, have you ever taught your kids or your daughters that God hates when you wear pants? God hates when you wear the tights and show all your, your business. Taught me that growing up. Okay. Did you teach right? Your mother. I would, I would assume. I would assume that your mother taught you that. Right. But what? Right now, and you gotta say that again. You gotta say that a little louder. Your grand, your mother told you not to wear pants and not just like who? And not the pants. Give me that, dude. Did you know that was God's law? So you say that? Yeah. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter She was reading the Bible. She was teaching you the Bible. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-two, verse five. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What? Read that. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth. Unto a man. God says, I got y'all on my man. I don't need that. I got y'all on my man. Okay, well, then now you, you do need this so you can I got y'all on my man. Here, so take it to your car. I'm going to bring that to a man. So you can come to the man. Right? Watch this. Neither shall a man wear a woman's garment. And then God says, Neither shall a man wear a woman's garment. Put on a woman's garment. We are animal kids. You got sons? No, I got two daughters. Two daughters, all right. Your mother. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. So God says the woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man, and neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Watch this. Read on. 
for all that do so, for all that dress out of order, that do so, are abomination unto the Lord, thy God. Abomination to God. Why? Because our daughter, or God's daughter, has given a specific dress code. And if we dress out of that dress code, remember what he said in Hosea, he's going to go back to his place until we acknowledge the dress code offense, until we acknowledge the dietary offense, the pork, shrimp, crap, and lobster, all of those things. God says, I'm going to punish you. Why you name all the things that I really do? No, what, 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 what you do that God say, don't you? I know you eat something. No, I don't. I'm I love chicken. You say you do what? I love chicken. You love chicken? Okay, chicken is fine. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. And I don't want nothing to eat. Right. Right. We don't eat meat. Right. But I can't eat meat. Right. 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 Because God says all of those evil things that he created for a purpose, but he ain't created for us to eat it. And when you eat it, he said that it's an abomination to eat those things. Uh, 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 watch this moment, Psalm 66, right? Because when we look at it, right, we like to say, we like to say that, uh, oh, it's just, man, it's just food. It's a different time. That food that God say don't eat, uh, it's a different time. That was for that time. Watch what's going to happen when Christ, the black Messiah, returns. Watch this. Watch this, mama. Watch this. Listen to this. Watch this. Mama, uh, sis, what's your, what's your name? Donna. Let me ask you this. I'm going to go, I'm going to show mama something right quick. Do you eat shrimp, crab, pork, lobster, all of those things? Do you eat any of that? Or have you ever? Eaten? Okay, but you eat shrimp, right? You eat, you eat like calamari, like squid and all that stuff, or whatever. Every now and then, all right. Come on. Come on. Right? Yeah, she I'm Bahamian, I eat cum. She said, I'm Bahamian, I eat cum. All right, let's see what the Lord says about this uh, cup and this shrimp and all that stuff, right? Look at that video. And we're going to show you what God, what Christ said he's going to do when he returns, right? Watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 9. Uh -huh. He shall ye eat of all that are in the water, whatsoever has fins and scales. So God says, you, this is what you can't eat, what got fins and what got scales. Does catfish have fins and scales? Have you ever seen a catfish? Mama know. Does, does fin <laughs> Mama said, oh no, that thing ain't got no scales on it, right? God says if it don't have scales and fins, don't eat it, right? Read. In the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, them shall you eat. So let me ask you this, does conch have fins and scales? What about shrimp? Does it have fins and scales? What about lobster? Does that have fins and scales? Bring it out. A lobster don't got no fins and scales. No, it doesn't. All right. All right. So if it don't have fins and scales and it's in the ocean, God says you're not to eat it, right? So let me see. Let's see what's going to happen. Uh, give me that song. I mean, Isaiah 6. Isaiah 66. Watch this. Because I've heard people say, well, that's old times. That's what God says a long time ago. That don't apply to us today. All right. Let's see what's going to happen when Christ returns. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 66 and verse 15. Uh -huh. For behold, the Lord will come with fire. The Lord will do? The Lord will come with fire. He will come with fire. That means there's a that's a future prophecy because we haven't seen God Christ come back yet. We will be terrified when Christ returns, right? He says that we he will come free with fire uh -huh. and with his chariots like a world. So he's gonna come with fire and chariots, right? That's the UFOs. That's what we call uh, the UFOs today. But Bible calls it chariots. They they spin with fire and all that stuff, right? Read. To render his anger. To render his what? His anger. Why would God? Why would Christ be angry? The reason why I'm gonna tell you because we might get. The reason why Christ will be angry because he came to earth, right? He taught all of our rebellious people, right? 
and then he got his behind whooped worse than anybody's ever been whooped before. He's got many stripes. They put a crown of thorns on his head. He died for our sins. He died to become our savior. This black man right here died to become our savior. And he said, you spit on my uh my crucifixion. You spit on my uh, uh being whipped. You spit when they smited my face and pulled out my beard. You spit on everything that I did. When I did it for 30, I came and died at 33 years old. You spit on it. So I'm angry. That's what he said. Watch this. To render his anger with fury uh -huh. and his rebuke with flames of fire. He's going to render his anger with fury and fire. Watch this. For by fire. For, for by fire. And by his sword. And by his sword. Fire and sword. What do you do? What does fire do when it touches you? It burns. And then what's the end result of uh, burning? No, it's going to kill you. It's going to kill your spirit, not your flesh. It's going to destroy your spirit. What does a sword do? Cut you in half. He ain't just gonna cut your body in half, he gonna cut your spirit in half. Right. Because you ain't getting the kingdom of heaven. Watch this. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. He's gonna destroy everybody that spit on his name. Everybody that spit on his uh, crucifixion. Everybody that spit on the purpose that he was uh, uh, born and raised up for. Watch this. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. And the what? And the slain of the Lord shall be many. He's going to kill a lot of people because we have taken what he said and cast it behind us. We don't take the things that we see. We look as little the dietary law. We say, well, that was, uh, no, God says he's going to be angry when he comes back. Read. For by fire and by a sword, Watch this. will the Lord John leave, 17. verse 17, they that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the garden, uh -huh. behind one tree in the midst, uh -huh. eating swine's flesh, you know what? eating swine's flesh. God says, so remember in the first part, he says he's going to come back angry with a sword and with flames, and the slain of him going to be many. This is the reason why he's going to kill so many people. What? Eating swine's flesh. And when we look at pork and say, oh, it's just a pork, whatever. God says, no, that is uh, uh, an abomination he's going to kill you for, Read really. And the abomination. And the uh, conk, and the shrimp, and the lobster, and the catfish, and all the things that is abominable that he said in Leviticus 11, he said, I'm going to kill you for it. I don't care how, if you think it's small. I don't care if you think it's insignificant. I don't care what you think. I'm saying I'm going to be mad, and I'm going to kill you for it. That should make you fearful. Read. And the mouth shall be consumed together. In the mouse, in the country, they eat raccoon, possum. Some people do eat mouse. They go over to China and want to be like Chinese people. They eat, uh, they eat mouse. Hell, some Haitians eat cat. How about that? Okay. Some people in Haiti eat cat. God said that's an abomination. Some of our people eat some stuff that I seen a, a Facebook video. Got millions of views of this dude in the backyard with all this oil frying uh, was it alligator? And then he had a uh, rattlesnake. Black dude. God said, I'm going to kill you for that. Because you're causing many people to stumble at my word. Read. Shall be consumed together, uh -huh. saith the Lord. God says all of them, all of our people that are eating the wrong food, that are dressed the wrong way, that is not raising their uh, families under the laws and the statues and the strict statues of God, he said, I'm going to consume them and kill them together. Bring it out. You understand? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Watch this. Deuteronomy 20. No, hold on. One more second. I know you got to go. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Right? Because we read all about the food abominations. Right? And that's one thing that, okay, oh, that's kind of easy to do. I can just stop that. Right? But one of the hang-ups for our, our people is how we dress. Right? God ain't going to do nothing but how we dress. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. I want to the, go ahead. Go. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Watch this. What's your name again? I'm sorry. Donna. Donna. I have a, a problem with remembering names. Right? Donna. 
Uh, what pertains to men that women wear today? Oh, they wear men clothes. They wear a lot of stuff pertaining to men. Why I don't know. What else? What else? She say underwear. What else do women wear? And they say, well, it's woman. Is this women's now? Give me this clothes. That's what you talking about? No. What do men wear typically uh, that women also wear? Oh, like and dresses. Oh, no, no. Watch this. I'm, I'm going to give it to you. Pants. Pants. Right? Women wear pants today, right? Right? So do men, right? Watch what God say about it. The woman, the woman, his daughters, shall not, shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So that is pants. Mama said it earlier. He said, I know. My mama told me not to. Taught me never to wear no pants. We couldn't go to church. We couldn't go nowhere with pants, right? But today, is for whatever reason or another, women are wearing pants. Out of order, God says you shall not wear that which pertains to a man. Right. And if you're confused, he's going to go further so you can understand what he's talking about. Read. Neither shall a man put a woman's garment. What is a woman's garment, Dad? Like a dress. Like a dress. There you go. That's easy to be understood when we right. get to the man's side, right? But one thing that the nations... The white man, Christianity, and all these other false religions have messed us up. It's hard to visualize that pants on women is an abomination. Right. Why? Because, for one, women wear it to show their shape. It ain't because the, the, the pants is fresh and nice and cool. No, it goes just like this, click, and it go down, and you, because when every woman in pants walk past some glass, what do they do? They look, oh. yes, yes, they look. They sit, they look in the, see, you laugh. You know it, you know it. You know it, you know it. Mama know it, you know it. And you can't see that in modest apparel, because right. God says when you cover your body up, it ain't for everybody to see. Like mama right here, you can't see nothing she got. That's only for her husband, or you know what I mean? That's only for her husband, right? God says what? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. That's panties, that's dresses, that's all of that Tyler stuff. Perry. Right, Tyler Perry, right? <laughs> right, so watch this. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you remember in Isaiah, it says, uh, all that's, remember that says, all that's doing abomination, he's gonna destroy it with fire, with a sword, and he's gonna consume it because he's angry. Watch this. So a, a woman dressed like a man, and a man dressed like a woman, watch this. For all that do so. For so all that dress like this, crisscross. Are abomination. Are what? Abomination. Worthy of fire and sword. That's what an abomination means. Worthy of fire and destruction. Read. Are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Oh, God says that's an abomination. So one thing that we must do for the one, one thing that we must do, God, right? We must go back to the old paths of God, how God told us to dress, right? Watch this. The book of 1 Timothy, chapter and, 2, verse 9. And you got to teach your daughters the same way. Just like her mother taught her, you got to change your mind and teach your daughters the same way. Right? Oh, yeah, old kid will not, and she ain't before. She don't want on no pants. She want on a dress. She want on a dress. <laughs> Yeah, probably because you taught her that. Probably because you on her behind. Probably because you on her mama behind. Well, I be on the mama behind. That too. That little girl. All right. Well, you taught her from earlier. You taught her based on what your mama taught you, and they kind of tripped her in. Well, I didn't teach her that this is what well, I'm saying. She's four years old, and she'll cry in a minute if you don't put her on a dress. You know what? You don't have to just speak and teach. You teach like this. Right. Right. She see grandma dress modest every great grandma dress modest every single day. What do you think she wanna be like, grandma? Right. Because grandma is a princess. Grandma is a princess of God. Grandma is the, the daughter of God, right? So she see you dress like that. I right. wanna be like grandma. Right. Ma, I don't wanna wear these pants. No, I want some dresses on. And when you put it on there, her spirit act right, right? Okay. Right, read that. First Timothy chapter two, verse nine. Watch this, Mom. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. What is modest? If you, if, you, if you have to guess, if one of your babies asked you, Mama, I was reading the Bible one day, and it says modest. What does this mean? Can you teach me? What does that mean? Something that's like not revealing. Like not, not revealing, like covered, up, like covered up, right. 
not sexually attractive, right? Mm -hmm. We got a lot of pedophiles out there here. You go. Look yeah. at that one. Right. There's a lot of people out here. You think, oh, damn, he look good. He got a this, that, and the other. He would have did 15 years for touching on a little baby. Yes. Little right. Right. We have no clue. So it behooves you as a mother to dress your baby in what? In modest apparel. Mama modest God. apparel. Because like like we said with uh, with sister right here. The baby want to dress modestly because grandma dressed modestly. The mama has to dress modestly, so the baby want to dress modestly. Yeah, right. You have to be an example to your daughters, right. and you have to do it with word, God's word, and you have to do it in action too. Why? Because I don't know where you're going, but I guarantee you, today, dressed like that, you're going to have 15,000 brothers. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care what you're doing. You're going to go over there to the wash house, and some man going to be looking, and at some point, he's going to say, hey, how you doing? My name is such and such. Right. Why is he doing that? That a few times. Oh, yeah. I, 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 the word of God is true. Why? Because you dress in modesty. Correct. And the right. reason why he want to do that, you think he want to take care of these babies? No, because he see me with, he see my thighs out, he want to talk to us. So what do you got to do? Keep walking. No, you don't. You got to <laughs> read that again. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Wait, you can dress in No. no. So, let me ask you, Donna. Uh -huh. You mean to tell me the only time you can, uh, the only way you can dress in modest because you're washing clothes? I understand that, but do you have modest clothes at home? I do. Could you have put on modest clothes to go to the wash house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell it, Mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. You might not hey, listen. You might not listen to me, but I guarantee you, Mama told you right. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Oh!